Welcome to Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire for the inaugural event on the Women's Pro Series, which is a new candle pin tour that's just starting up this year. In this event, we've got 24 of the top women bowlers in New England who are participating in a singles knockout format tournament where there's a uh, five string qualifying round and you can see the qualifying scores as we uh, we show you some highlights from from qualifying and after the five string qualifying round the top 16 bowlers move on to match play and we're going to get to the uh, final match shortly as soon as we show you some of these uh, highlights from from qualifying so the top 16 move on to match play and that means obviously uh, four rounds of match play and in each of the first three rounds it's a one string match but the uh, the final match is going to be two strings so we saw some uh, some really good bowling as you can see in the qualifying scores some really outstanding scores particularly uh, a couple of the top bowlers from last year Marion Johnson with 659 Lynn Thompson 648 both Marion and Lynn had outstanding years um, last year in 2010 2011 and it looks like they've picked up right where they left off this year and we saw some uh, as you can see on the on the scores on the bottom of the screen some good scoring all around. You've got some familiar faces and probably some not quite so familiar faces in, in this tournament, but we had a, a very strong field assembled and we're optimistic that that uh, we should have a successful tour starting up on the uh, the Women's Pro Series. There are several more events during the year. So you can see the qualifying scores and we will in just a moment move on and show you the final match which is going to feature Cindy Colley versus Marion Johnson. Marion Johnson was the top seed in in match play with uh, with that 659 meanwhile Cindy Colley was third in qualifying with 615 so we're getting things underway in, in match play Marion Johnson starts off with uh, on she starts off with a two drop on lane 24 and Cindy Colley punches through the middle with four on lane 23 Cindy Colley has an average of 117 a high single of 182 and a high triple of 434 she bowls out of Park Place Lanes right here in the Sunday Pro League. Marion Johnson is also a member of the Sunday Pro League here at Park Place and she also bowls out of Leo's Super Bowl in Amesbury, Massachusetts. Marion has a high single of 195, a high triple of 464, and an average of 117. Both bowlers got off to a little bit of a slow start. Marion had just a five in the first box and Cindy had an eight. But sometimes it takes a little while to uh, adjust to the pressure of a tournament final, especially the, the uh, inaugural event of a, of a new tour. Marion with an eight box. She's got 13 after two and Cindy has 14 through two. Third box, Marion Johnson with a nine drop, leaving a six pin. And Cindy Colley also with a nine drop. She leaves a, a uh, ten pin. Piece of wood that it looks as the well now it's rolled off into the gutter. Marion is looking at the six pin all by itself, and she's all over that for a spare. And Cindy converts the ten pin for a spare see what they can do for fills. Marion has got four and Cindy Colley with just two on this pair punches out the half Worcester left. Let's see. 
Marion Johnson punches, hits the head pin solid, dead center, punches it straight back. So she's going to need an out here. See what she can do with this. That is a nice out, as someone in the crowd said. That's a nine box for uh, for Marion Johnson and also a nine box for Cindy Colley. So through four, Marion has 36 and Cindy has 35. Marion Johnson with a good ball in the fourth box. Kind of a light one three pocket hit and a little bit of a tough break. She left the uh, the bucket on the left side, two, four, five, eight, plus the 10 pin. Meanwhile, Cindy Colley missed the head pin but left a one two. And there's a nice try by Marion, but she comes up a little bit light and only takes out the 2-4. And Cindy Colley doesn't quite get up to the head pin. So both bowlers off to kind of a slow start. Marion has 44 through 5 and Cindy with 45 through 5. Now they'll switch sides. Cindy goes over to lane 24 and Marion goes to lane 23. Cindy is a, uh, a veteran of a number of wins on the old WCBC Pro Tour. And she and Marion are also very active in, in the team events. The women's team uh, international is up in Canada every year. They both have had some excellent results in that event. Wow. Tough break for... Uh, for Marion. She had the 258 and she uh, punched the two pin to punch the two and the eight off the five. Meanwhile, Cindy Colley records a spare in the sixth box. And it's a 10 for Marion Johnson, giving her 54 through six. Cindy's got 55 with the ball working and she adds five to give her 60 through six. All right, Marion right on the head pin, but she punches through for a spread eagle. Cindy with a nice try on that that uh, four horsemen right plus the eight pin, the infamous Kaliri. She almost converts the Kaliri, leaving the ten pin. And she converts it for a ten box. Meanwhile, Marion takes an eight. So it's an eight pin lead through seven for Cindy Colley, 70 to 62. Cindy with a nice one three pocket hit, but she gets a tough leave out of that. She's got the four, five, seven, eight, nine with a piece of wood. Meanwhile, Marion Johnson with a nine drop leaving a four pin. Let's see what Cindy can do. I'm not sure whether that wood is covering, that getting the nine pin might be a problem. But we'll see what she can do with it. Wow, that's a terrific shot by Cindy. Um, and uh, meanwhile, Marion picks the four pin. Let's take another look at this spare by Cindy Colley. She actually doesn't use the wood at all. Uh, she plays it. That's just a perfect shot uh, if there's no wood. And I don't know if that's how she played it, but Cindy is usually a very consistent, accurate bowler, so I'm guessing that she probably just didn't like that wood, and and that's probably exactly how she played it. And there's a strike on spare by Cindy Colley. Let's take a, a look at it on replay. A very light one-two pocket hit, but the head pin comes off the sidewall and wipes out the entire right side, so that's, uh, that's strike on spare. That's going to open it up a little bit. And Marion with a nice head pin hit, but just a little bit full. And she uh, puts seven on the spare, giving her 79 through eight. Let's see, see what she can do with this three, four, six combination. This goes by the three pin taking out the six. So she'll be trying to probably just try to get a nine. And that's what it is. She's got 88 through nine. Meanwhile, Cindy Colley with 90 and then she's got actually a hundred with with the strike up in the uh, ninth and she almost throws a double strike really solid in that one two pocket and once again Marion Johnson with the three four six exactly the same split she just had Cindy is all over that spare
spare in the tenth. And a really nice bid by Marion Johnson, but the spare doesn't quite go. She will take a 97 in the first string. And meanwhile, Cindy Colley has one ball remaining to fill. She's got 120 plus whatever she gets on this fill ball in the 10th frame. And it's going to be six. So it'll be a, a 126 game. And there you can see the score through one string. Cindy Colley, 126. Marion Johnson, 101. We will be back with the second and final string of this Women's Pro Series final match shortly.